Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Um, it is 9.30 p.m. and um, obviously I am laying in my bed. Um, let's see if I could get the lighting better. Probably not unless I turn over. Um, So today, the boys and I made it to church and Sunday school, and the Sea Lion South project started. Um, September is at my church always missions month, um, so we have like a missionary come in every Sunday in the month of September. Um, so today it was. Harry Sergil, 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 Surgeon, something like that from Seedline South. And they, Seedline South, I don't know if it's in other parts of the country or what, but in this area, churches come together. Um, well, I don't know if they come together in one church or at their specific church but um with our church um we put together 35,000 um bibles john and romans um in a specific language and it gets sent to another country and um like the covers there's the covers that need need to be folded and then um stuffed with the um the paper with with the inside of it and um and then it gets stapled together and then um it gets trimmed like along the top I don't know if they trim it along the bottom or not but and then it gets packed in a box. And this year, we are doing 35,200 Spanish Bibles um, in just John and Romans. Um, Romans? Yeah. And it's going somewhere in Mexico. So, you know, I... I folded a bunch of covers they only had child care from like 5 30 to um 6 45 so i did as many as i could I, um so the church sets aside um three days until wednesday to get it done but we're normally done on tuesday afternoon so Last year, I had, since the kids were in school, I was able to go during the week, and I think I I went on Tuesday, and um, I finished helping, I helped finish folding the covers, and then, um, like, whatever was left. And then moved on to stuffing those covers. And then, um, eight. And then I had to go pick up somebody. <laughs> One of the kids. Um, so normally we do it in the fellowship hall, which is like a complete and total dead zone. Like, you can't get on the Wi-Fi. You can't use data. No phone calls, no text messages, just, like, absolutely nothing. Like, I don't know. Um, so. <laughs> um, but this year we're doing it across the street in the gym. So. You know, there's, there's a lot more space and we're not so crowded in the gym. They set up yesterday, which I completely forgot about, um. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but any 
toys. Um, if I could, if I go back, if I remember to go back on Monday or Tuesday, um, I'll try to get like some kind of footage while I'm over there. And, um, it's a really interesting process. I've never gone past the stuffing part of it. I've always folded, um, so, anyways, I am going to go, um, read a chapter in my book. I love these, um, love-inspired suspense books. Um, unfortunately, I can't find very many at the library. I still have some that I have not read, um, read through. Like, I get them at Walmart. I've gotten a bunch, like, the one that I read I did buy from the library, um, I've gotten a bunch at the, um, what's it called? Um, it's coming up. The Catholic Church does it. Um, Chocolate Festival or whatever. Um, a few years back when they marked it down for like 10 cents a piece. Um, but it's been a long time since we've been to the Chocolate Festival. My aunt goes to that church, that ca the Catholic church. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up and see when it is. Um, maybe the kids and I can go and have some family fun. Or at least me and Wyatt, if Elijah doesn't want to go. So... Anyways, I'm going to get off, read a chapter or two, and I will, and then call it a night. So, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. So, peace.